Okay, Harbor Freight, you deserve this review. This is your three horsepower, I'm sorry, three CFM. I think it's a half horsepower dual stage uh, vacuum pump for automotive or HVAC. And I've really spent some time in the last three days with this. I'm installing a new five ton complete HVAC system with 100,000 BTU ultra low NOx furnace and a new evaporative coil. Installed the inch and an eighth line set and the three eighths line set. My old system had seven eighths and I struggled with this a little bit. I'm a DIYer and new to HVAC, but I've studied quite a bit. But I just took this system after flushing it with di dry nitrogen in 21 minutes from over 20,000 microns to 834. My target is going to be 250. Now I've uh, learned some hard things for you other Harbor Freight folks out there. It's all about sealing everything up. I had pressure tested this system. 450 PSI for almost a day and all these fittings over here were fine they were they pressure tested fine but when I started vacuuming somebody can correct me but when I started vacuuming I had all kinds of crazy things happen so I would highly recommend uh, high-end test gauges I spent about 800 bucks on Amazon for the Testo uh, 557s and this has been invaluable. I don't have that hooked up now, but it's, it really tells you a lot of what's going on and has helped me diagnose my amateur mistakes. I know the HVAC professionals hate this, but, uh, but that's the system. Um, last night I got this down to, um, I think 290 or 295. And as you can see, we're, we're headed that way. It just kind of ticks down and then up a smidge and then down and then up a smidge and it's just sucking all those uh, compressible or condensable uh, gases out of there. Uh, I had made an error in how I set this up and I had my uh, pressure gauge, which is this one right here on the suction side, I'm sorry, on the uh, liquid side and uh, for me to actually uh, put the 410A Freon into the system, that gauge wasn't set up correctly. So I actually broke the vacuum this morning, which got down below 300. I broke it with dry nitrogen, uh, flowed some through the system, replumbed everything. And another advantage is uh, that I would highly recommend to everybody <coughs> is um, this nylock blue is highly rated on all the HVAC sites. And I uh, put that on every single fitting. And uh, I'm using the host set that came with the Testo 557S. But uh, I found out that you really, for me, I had to grab this pliers and actually tighten everything down. I don't know how those HVAC professionals just hand tighten everything and it works great, but once I put the uh, nylog blue and tightened everything down and got it plumbed correctly, uh, you can see we're 25 minutes in and we went from above 20,000 microns uh, down to 700, so we're well on our way to 250. You know, as a DIYer, I'm not going to use this pump a hundred times. So, uh, for a affordable Harbor Freight product that I'll use once, I might use this then in my woodworking for vacuum clamps and that sort of thing. But I'm really happy with it. So, thanks Harbor Freight for taking care of us uh, do-it-yourselfers.